horses are on the track for DuCoin's fourth race. When play show, exacta trifecta wagering. Non-winners of two pair mutual races or $5,000 life for Pacers. Number one, Al's Pride, owned by Mary Lee Jeffers of Flat Rock, trained by Ray Hanna, Tom Simmons in the bike. Number two, R.J. Honor, leased by Tom Throgmorton of Carbondale. The trainer is Willie Jones. The driver is Mike Rogers. Number three, Fox Valley Josh, owned by Dale Richardson and Kenneth Schrock of Tuscola and Arthur, trained by Rick Schrock, and Rick is in the bike. Number four, Joey Revrack. John Carver of Rock Island is the owner. Irvin Miller trains. Andy Miller drives. Number five, Raining Terror, owned by Dave Snyder, Charles Heleny, and Leela Southard, trained by Dave Snyder, the driver, Randall Finn. Six is Fox Mulder. Randy Gorell is the owner. He is from Newton. Randy trains, and Rick Gorell drives. Scratch the seven, light escape is scratched. Post time in only four minutes. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Fox Valley, Josh for the lead. Al's Pride gets away second toward the inside. These two to the front. Everyone else quickly tries to settle into position. And Fox Valley, Josh is still parked around the turn. Al's Pride lets him go. Tom Simmons leaning back in the race bike trying to get Al's Pride to restrain his early speed. Fox Valley, Josh gets the lead. Simmons relaxes in the race bike with Al's Pride in second. And then there's a gap of three more lengths to R.J. Honor. Another five more back to Reigning Terror, Fox Mulder, and Joey Red Rack is last. 29 seconds the time for the opening quarter. Fox Valley Josh is on the lead by a length. Al's Pride is second by two. RJ Honor is third by four and a half. Back to Reigning Terror, Fox Mulder, and Joey Revrack. After three eighths of a mile, Fox Valley Josh shows the way. And Fox Valley Josh leads Al's Pride by one length. Another two lengths to RJ Honor, who's closing that gap from third. Gap of four more to Fox Mulder, who moves up outside of Reigning Terror. And Joey Revrack trails after a half and 58 and three fifth seconds. Fox Valley Josh on top by a length. Al's Pride second a length and a half. RJ Honor third by a neck. Fox Mulder keeps moving up and takes over third. Two lengths off the lead on the outside. Further back, Reigning Terror and Joey Revrack, who moves from last. Next to last now, but six lengths off the lead. Fox Valley Josh, the leader by a length. Al's Pride needs room. He's locked in second by a neck. Fox Mulder is third. RJ Honor drops off the pace. Three quarters in 128. Turning for home, Fox Valley Josh leads it by a length and a half. Al's Pride is second inside of Fox Mulder in third. Joey Revrack is now fourth. Final eighth mile, Fox Valley Josh leads it by a length and a half. Al's Pride second by two. Fox Mulder is third. Joey Revrack is fourth. Fox Valley Josh by a length and a half. Al's Pride is second. Fox Valley Josh takes it. Fox Valley Josh by just over two lengths. And then it was Al's Pride in second. Close for third, either Fox Mulder or Joey Revrack. Result is official for the fourth race, 3164 official. Earlier today, we saw trainer Tex Motes score a victory, so why not a Tex Motes protege? Rick Schrock spent some time working in Fairfield for the Tex Motes stable before branching out on his own and opening a public stable that he bases at the Illinois State Fairgrounds in Springfield, and Rick is the winning trainer driver. Number three, Fox Valley Josh, owned by Dale Richardson and Kenneth Schrock, a three-year-old gelded son of Sportsmaster, bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads, Rick Schrock with the winning drive. 